I really thought it was me this Christmas season because I had a very chillax Christmas. I didn't go out. I didn't do nearly all the crazy stuff. It's been a year, so I was like, you know what? Low key. But it didn't quite feel as Christmassy as Christmassy usually does. So like, I thought it was me. But I also avoided the news this weekend. That was the gift to me. And then I turn it on today. And what did we do on the eve of the Christ's birth? We bombed Bethlehem. We fought about whether or not Jesus' mom was Palestinian. Trump told all the politicians to rot in hell. Even newscasters are starting to push back on Israeli officials who liken what's happening currently to World War II. There were more corporate layoffs. Shopping is not where they expected it to be. As a matter of fact, Walmart came out and said our shopping patterns have been concerning recently. I.e. it looks like you guys aren't spending as much as we told you to. Just a couple mass shootings. The Kardashian wrapping their gifts like dead bodies like no wonder it doesn't fucking feel like christmas everything's on goddamn fire and where are the super christians in all of this protecting the thing they're supposed to care most about at the mega churches watching a taylor swift level concert while the people outside their mega churches starve and freeze oh what a magical season it is Given what's currently going on, not one Christian has the right to say there should be Christ in Christmas, because y'all fucking skipped out on everything bad that happened the past few days while pretending like Christ was your priority. Fuck y'all. New Year's is in a couple days. Could we, like, just try to make everything epically bad just, like, 0.5% less terrible? Because it's now a dumpster fire inside of a dumpster fire inside of a dumpster fire inside of a dumpster fire wrapped in napalm, dipped in toxic waste, and sold to us for quintuple the price by Walmart. We could all just use a collective, like, one day off pause, if at all possible. You fucking bombed Bethlehem on Christmas Eve? Let's not even talk about the 600-year-old church nowhere near any of this shit. Which, by the way, staffers from our government told the Israeli government, here are all the locations to keep them safe, and they're fucking bombing them in the order we gave them to them because nothing says terrorist threat like a cloister full of nuns. I...